I borrowed my brother-in-law's GoPro to do a lot of recording, and it was working out real well until he just decided to go skiing and lost it on the slopes. Anyway, that's where this comes in. I'm too cheap to buy a GoPro, but I wanted to get a sports camera that um, I could use for recording um, tricopter flights, quadcopter flights, and just general stuff um, that we're doing as a family. And so I got this Mini F9 right here. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing on this. And this has not been opened yet, so hopefully this goes well. Let's see. Looks like it comes with a lot of accessories that I had not planned on getting. That's good. Alright, so that's everything in the box. But here's the manual, and I read a lot of people said that this is in real bad broken uh, Chinese and English, but this looks like it's, oh there, the second half is, is English, that's good. Uh, let's see what they have for accessories though. Here's, this looks like it's a, a uh, yep, a tripod mount for it, unsnaps, and lets you put stuff in. Let's see, uh, a uh, helmet mount with the Velcro straps on it. This looks like the generic one I got out of some uh, Chinese websites too. A little uh, sticky mount, uh, bicycle mount, handlebar mount, and let's see, got a USB cable mini USB cable and just the regular port charger for it and a strap not too bad and here's the camera itself it's not too bad looks like this will be pretty good and I hear you can hear it click but I don't know if that's on top of your helmet if you can actually hear it or not Oh yeah, and it does, this one does 1080p at 30 frames a second or 720p at 60 frames a second. And you can do video or can do pictures. And I think this is where you plug it in to charge it and your SD card goes in here. So anyway, I'll get this charged up and I'll get some sample video up. So the camera is all charged up now, just got it off the charger. And I also realized that this adapter that I thought was a mini USB is not a mini USB. Here's a mini USB, the blue one. And so you can see it's just a little bit smaller than a mini USB. So I guess these are kind of, some people, or a lot of things are starting to use these now, or some of them are. I, I haven't seen many of these myself. But anyway, this is not a standard USB. So if you were hoping to use your phone adapter with it, then, well, you're going to be disappointed. So here's the camera. And I'm going to go into pull the back off and look at this. And here it's on pictures. So let's go ahead and we'll just leave it off for now. And I'll turn it on. And when I turn it on, you should hear it buzz. It gave three uh, short buzzes and now it's on ready to take some pictures so I can put it here and I can take a uh, take a picture there we go I'll take a picture of the box and that took the picture okay so let's go ahead and flip it over to video I don't know if it has to be restarted or not but we'll give it a try there it just buzzed three times and now we have a solid red light on so it's in record mode and it is now recording so here I'll do a little filming here and show what that looks like so here we go. we'll then stop it I give one long buzz so as far as this tripod mount goes there is a little flat piece up here in the top that lines up with the flat piece on the camera that way it stays that way you know it's sitting it's sitting up straight when you put it into your uh, mount. So there's you know, and it doesn't spin at all because of that flat part on the top. So I got the strap on. Now I'm ready to take it outside and get some footage of outdoors of all different times of the day. Here we are outside, and I have one 
uh, light post out here. You can see it there in the background. One other test I'm gonna do. Here's my quadcopter, and I got my FPV camera up here on the front, and here's the um, Mini F9 camera that I'm going to see how, see how it records. It's pretty windy, and I'll probably only fly for a couple of seconds, but it'll be fun to see. Overall, I really like this camera. I like the quality that it has indoors and outdoors. It's uh, very adequate for YouTube and for recording. It's not going to be quite as clear as a GoPro, but then again, you're not paying nearly the money either. The uh, Some of the things that I like about it are the uh, when you turn the power on, you get the three buzzes. When you start recording, you get three buzzes. And you can tap the record button, and it will... Uh, stop the recording and make a new file and then continue the recording. You can also hold down the record button down here and it will stop the recording. And when you turn it off, it has one long buzz. Uh, so it has buzzes for the different things. The other thing is the uh, the time, figuring out the time. Well, it took me a little bit of time. You have to, took me a little bit of time. <laughs> you have to update the um, config file that's on the SD card after you use it and you just set the time on there turn it on and it sets the time from that uh, there's some other configuration things you can do brightness and stuff like that that are on that configuration file too the uh, another thing to mention is that this by default when you get it it's only going to record three minute files there's a um, there's a forum out on the web where they talk about how to load other firm another firmware on here that will allow it to record for um, 45 minutes and but it is not um, cyclable it doesn't start over when the uh, when the when the um, card gets full it just keeps it just stops recording now the the firmware that comes with it they said it will um, overwrite the older files when it gets full but I didn't try that out Anyway, I put the new firmware on here to get 45 minute or 50 minute files um, because I, I don't have any use for a little short three minute files. Anyway, this camera is pretty good. I really like it. In fact, I like it so well, I'm going to um, use it on my tricopter instead of some other, instead of a cheaper one that I had actually purchased for that purpose. And uh, if you're looking to get one of these, if you can spend the 60 bucks on one and you don't want uh, or you, actually, if you can just handle a little less quality than what the GoPro offers, you're actually going to be, I think you're going to be very happy with this one. Anyway, I'll put some links down in the comments to uh, the forum and to some places where you can buy this. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Whoa, almost lost it. Thanks for watching.